to land flat Wanny Castle for what promises to be an outstanding day of dice hockey. It's a fiscally responsible pro league and we're getting to the pointy end of the season. It's semi-final time, folks, you can see the jam-packed crowd in here at the stadium in the People's Republic who just can't wait for this day's action to get underway. My name's John Lee, I'll be your lead commentator today and I'm joined as ever and always by Mr Matt Allen. Matt, welcome to semi-final day at the Fiscally Responsible Pro League. I couldn't be more excited, John. It's a beautiful 25 degrees. It's going to cool down slightly as the evening goes on. Absolute perfect conditions for hockey dice. Oh, it's looking fantastic, mate. Uh, I can't wait to get out there. And uh, get amongst all of the players, all of the officials, all of the spectators and enjoy what should be a fantastic day. And uh, probably at this stage, it's a time to introduce ourselves, as I have already. But here we are in person, John and Matt, with you today. Now, Matt, um, anything particularly you're looking forward to today? Well, it's just been the buzz around town here in the capital city, in the People's Republic, John. It's, it's, the excitement has been building all week. There's been little displays in the shop windows at the butchers and the bakers and even at the candlestick makers, John. It's absolutely fantastic. The crowd is sensational down here at the stadium. Can't wait for some exciting FRPL action to get underway. The spider cam is ready. The die has been polished. It's going to be high class hockey dice all day long. Well, I'm looking forward to it. It's about time we have a look at how the teams have got to this stage, shall we? Let's have a look at the ladders for the men and women after the completion of the rounds, round rounds. And uh, first up, it's the men. And, well, India, what a powerhouse they were in the uh, fiscally responsible pro league this year. Got it done early, John. They didn't even play last week. They've had the week off. They're going to be fit, fresh and ready to roll. You would think so. Spain, in some ways, a surprise packet. In many other ways, not a surprise at all. No, well, they uh, they did well last week. A 5-2 win over GB for Fred's Reds. And uh, they booked a spot in that first semi. Of course, the way it works here, those top two teams play off. The winner straight through to the grand final. The loser, they get a second chance. They do, and that second chance will be against either Netherlands or Germany, who rounded out the top four. Two close neighbours, close on the table. It should be a thrilling match today. Looking forward to it, John. Some high-class tosses uh, on, on display all day long. Oh, there will be. And, of course, some of our favourite tossers are going to be out there today. Oh, there are some top tossers, John. I'm looking forward to seeing, um, you know, on the, in the men's side, in particular, some of that Indian attacking line and the German defensive line. It's going to be some exciting games going on there. Um, from the women's competition, well, there's just class all over the field. And, and the surprise there at the top of the ladder. China. Who would have thought coming into this season of the fiscally responsible pro league that China would top the women's table? 16 points. They had four wins and uh, three draws. That got them to those 16 points from their eight games. Just pipping out the Netherlands, who finished in second place on 15 points. Should be noticed China's goal difference was just five. 31-4, 26 against the Netherlands. 18 was their goal difference. 41 goals they scored to be the top scoring team in the league across the season. Well, they did let 12 in last week, John. That was the experiment to play the two games in one day. They lost both of those, a 6-4 defeat to New Zealand and a 6-5 defeat to Germany. Now, uh, But they did score nine goals in those two games, so they're still a threat. Ch China, their opponents today... They got the rest last week. They'd already got it got it done. So it's going to be really interesting to see how a tired Dutch side come into the game and a refreshed, renewed China team, who, once again, we haven't seen all week. We have not. They've been very isolated. And Germany and Argentina round out the women's top four. Germany in third place. The same number of points as Argentina. The goal difference between the two teams, one. Germany with a goal difference of four and um, Argentina with a goal difference of three so very tight between those two teams Germany the only side from the women's competition going in to uh, the semi-finals on the back of a win the Argentinians 7-7 draw last week against the Belgians and they lost the shootout 5-4 and of course China going in on the back of lying on their back yes John doing nothing okay Matt so well that leaves us with a position we enter today and that is the semi-finals let's have a look at uh, how it'll play out we'll be starting with the women today and it will be China versus Netherlands in what we're calling the first semi-final the winner of which will go through 
to the grand final. Uh, Germany, Argentina in the second semi final. The loser, gone. That's it. Go home. The winner, they'll be playing off for the right to play in the grand final against the winner of the first semi final. Well, that's right. Six games coming up today. So three in the women's. And we'll know who our grand finalists are for next week's spectacular. Fiscally Responsible Pro League Final Series. And now we'll check in with the, uh, the fixtures for the women, shall we? Today they'll be, sorry, the men. Uh, the men will be kicking, the women are kicking the day off, but then uh, the men take over and it'll be India versus Spain. Now, doesn't that promise to be an intriguing contest? And the Netherlands and Germany in the second semi-final. Uh, that's going to be a tough one, uh, that second semi-final, I think, Matt. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very close, John. They've um, Germany have just got the upper hand over the Netherlands in this competition so far. What we can, what we're going to see from Possums Blossoms? That's what I'm calling the Indian boys, John. Um, you know, they've dominated the table. Surely they've got to make their way through to the Possums, grand final. Possums Blossoms. Possums Blossoms. Yeah, that's very good, Matt. And and considering the connection to our sponsor, Lalit Flowers, I think that that's a fantastic name for them. Beautiful. Well, we're going to take a quick break here at the Fiscally Responsible Pro League. We'll be back very shortly. We're going to keep kicking the day off right after this ad break uh, with today's very first game. It will be the women's first semi final, China versus the Netherlands. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to the People's Republic at Land Flanwanny Castle. The crowd, they're packed in there. There's a lovely flower display there from Lallet Flowers, you can see in the corner, Matt. Look at that crowd. They're excited to be here today. Can't wait for the action to start. Uh, and we get to the ultras. Oh, I'm not sure what to expect from them today. Well, they're they're armed. Yeah, I, I believe they're armed. It? Yes, that could uh, cause some trouble later on today. There's the, uh, pie, the ham and cheese toasty cart. A lot of people lining up there to get there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's actually going all the way around the back of the stand there, John, and down the road, down to the riverside. Oh, it has indeed. They're packed in there, the bar as well. And, of course, in the VIP area, we can see uh, a very, very packed crowd. Of course, there's the uh, fiscally responsible pro league two-hat prez, uh, surrounded by some of his fellow clowns. And um, they'll be looking forward to seeing a very fiscally advantageous pro league and from this. security beefed up there as well john oh there's I've... the band oh there's a oh, goth of course there's got to be a goth at the band uh who have we got down there band band wise there man i i believe that could be the world famous diva um joyce michaels it is joy it's joyce the voice john it's wonderful to have her here she's um obviously very much in demand great to have such an international caliber artist on display and uh yeah, it's just it, you know, look. You know, we look at the way that they're reacting down there. They're absolutely loving it. What a uh, voice! I think that might be Maggie Simpson down there in the crowd as well. So star-studded crowd, star-studded entertainment. It's just fantastic. Well, stuff, yeah, her, 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 her boyfriend's um, on keyboard there, John. Is it? Oh, Maggie's uh, Maggie's yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, of course, yes, of course he is there. Um, and great to see um, Joyce here. Of course, Joyce is a member of many, many bands, but uh, this is the only one she public acknowledges singing format. That's right. I mean, you, you can catch up with her on Twitter sometimes. My music, love music, the beating heart and integrity of music, yes. I think. Uh, do follow at Joyce Michaels. Yeah, it's uh, great stuff there. Now, let's get to our first game today, Matt. The crowd's ready and raring to go. 
And I tell you what, it's going to be a ripper. It's China versus the Netherlands. The surprise packets versus the perennials. Umpiring this game today will be Martin Glossop. Martin's from New Zealand, and he'll be joined by Cat Graham. And Cat is from Scotland. So good luck to those today. Let's get down to the action, Matt. Um, should be a ripping contest. Can't wait. I'm very excited. <laughs> There's the umpire's whistle. It will be China to roll off a fairly... Uh, Thumbs up. Having a lot of fun out there, the teams together. They're obviously not feeling that much pressure. Well, they Here get the second China. chance. They get the second chance, John, if they Opening lose. Opening roll of the fiscally responsible Pro League finals, and it's two goals to China. Incredible. Ningma with a double. What a start for the Chinese against the power. Oh, the backflip down by the post. What can the Netherlands bring in? It's a one. Oh, that's... A a good steady start from the Netherlands. They're not too bothered by China's uh, racing out of the blocks Nice there. from Vershaw. And now China rolling into the D. It's zero. Well, oh. I think that deserved a little bit more. That was a lovely roll. We saw all sides of the die, all 13 of them. And there comes the Netherlands. Can they hold play? Oh, they've drawn level at half time, Matt. Another goal to the Netherlands there. Yibi Janssen just getting that deflection in for the corner. Well, that was uh, an intriguing half, the... Uh, the Dutch seemed to be asleep early. China took full advantage, came out of the blocks hard. But uh, as we know from the Dutch women, they just keep working away at their processes, Matt. And we've ended up with a, a draw at half time. Steady, steady goes the roll, as they say in the FRPL. Well, let's get to the second half of this contest. And it'll be the Netherlands to roll off, leading us into the second half. Uh, I can see them really putting the pressure on the Chinese in this quarter, Matt. This is, this is for a place in the final, mate. This is a place Grand in final. the final at stake. There we That's go. Two. They keep plugging away. They get the two. Superstar from Pien Sanders and Marine Veen. I'm not sure that China can come back from here, but they'll need a good quarter, Matt. Oh. Well, that's an flamboyant. Role. Yeah, flamboyant stuff. It's right down on the Glover's rifle sign there. Oh, it's not enough, man. It's nothing. It's nothing. I don't think they're going to be able to win from here. I think the Dutch are going to score, and I think they'll score heavily. The big windmill from the Dutch. Trademark roll. And oh, nothing. Oh, my left goodness. The door open. I'm surprised at this, man. China can book a place now in their very first fiscally responsible Pro League final. What have they got? It's at the top of the D. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. The dream has been broken. Disappointing for the Chinese. The Netherlands ecstatic. Geez, they'll be sinking some down at Club Schlop tonight. Oh, they will indeed, Matt. And what a fantastic performance from the Netherlands women. They, they were ambushed early, it must be said. Some guerrilla tactics there. And uh, the, Ch the Chinese just couldn't keep it together, though, once it got into a full pitch battle. They showed their class. They had to come back from those two defeats last week. They did it in style. They did it with grace. They're in the final. Well, they are. Netherlands, I mean, it could be a sign of, of how much they've slipped in the world that uh, they've reached this final, man. Well, I think it could well be somewhere along the start of the death of Dutch women's hockey, it, John. It could be. And China, they're going to have a second chance at it. They could be again meeting the Dutch in the final, depending on how the results of our next game go. It's Germany versus Argentina. The winner goes home. The winner will be facing China later today for the right to play the Netherlands in the final. I'm borrowing this game today. It's an intriguing pair of Tang Dak Zhang from China. And uh, they will be joined by Pritpal Sagu from England. So good luck to them as they blow the whistles today. Let's get down to the ground. It should be an action-packed game today, Matt. Let's get down to the ground. And here we go. It's Germany versus Argentina. What will they bring? Well, I think Germany are just going to continue in the fashion they've been going so far. They've been superb in this tournament. Germany lingered there when the teams met, and they'll be rolling first. Oh, that's a very technical manoeuvre. Deep into the Argentinian defensive zone, and it's worked oh, for them, Matt. Three goals. Oh, my goodness. Three goals. Hannah Gablak, Anna Schroeder, and Elisa Grava with the three for Germany. Oh, the flashy stuff from the Argentinians again. It's landed on the flag. Just above it. They've got oh. two for it. Well, success from the flash there, John. We haven't seen a lot of that. It normally ends up in a zero. Amazing first quarter. Five goals scored. Can Germany back it up? Right next There's to the, the spot. They've, well, got they've got the got one. one. They've got the one. It's a 4-2 lead. Argentina must get on the board here. Certainly puts them in a prime position, Matt. Here's Argentina's roll. Out of the back of the hand. Onto the 25. 
They've got the two. Oh, Go it's ahead. all tied up here at half time. Oh, I'll tell you what, after that fantastic start from the Germans, you thought, oh, where's this game going? Well, Argentina's been up to the task, man. Well, the young starlet there, Julieta Jankunas, pops up with two to draw level. And, uh, yeah, all square at half time. This is action. This is how we like to see FRPL played. Let's get back to the second half. It will be the Argentinians rolling off first. Oh, I'm not sure what to make here. It'll either be goals galore or nothing. Well, I'm nervous. It's for a spot in the final. Here's the roll into the D. And they've scored, Matt. Argentina have scored. They're taking the lead. Oh, that's great play from the Argentinians. Here's Germany. What's their response? Shaking it up. They've really Four given it a stir. Around and around and around and a mid-drop. Oh, in two. Mid two. Unbelievable. A double. Stuff. Six, five, the lead going into the final quarter. Argentina have got it all fest. to do. They've got it all to do here. They wibble, they wobble, they wave. It's at the back of the hand onto the Gubbers rifle sign. Oh, oh, and that's it. They're out, John. Germany know it. Big thumbs up to the spider cam. Oh, they're happy, Matt. Oh, and they've just done it in style. Oh. Nicola Pluto with the hat trick. Well, they've really buried the Argentinians there, John. Well, and they did. They now get the second chance against the Chinese. Well, the Argentinians sort of gave it away there in the last quarter. Very flattering to Germany, but uh, a, a tremendous game nonetheless. And um, unfortunately for Argentina, they're going home. Germany is staying, and uh, they'll be stoked that they, they, they're going to get at least another run at the ham and cheese toasty van. Uh, well, yeah, you can look down at the sadness on the face of Carlos Redegay down there. He knows they could have done better. That second half, it was uncharacteristic for the Argentinians. They gave up, but at the same time, super, super stuff from uh, Natalie Kabowski in goal there for the Germans. Defensively, they've been very good throughout the tournament, and that just continues. What, what happens next, John? Can they beat the Chinese and meet the Dutch in the final? Well, it's going to be a fascinating. We'll be finding that out a little bit later. But coming up after this very short break, it's going to be the men's semi-finals, India and Spain getting us underway first, and then the Netherlands and Germany preliminary finals coming up a little bit later this afternoon. You are with the fiscally responsible Pro League here in the People's Republic. Good day. I'm Matt Allen. You may know me from Hockey Podcast, Push Past Pundits, and The Reverse Stick, the global hockey podcast. Like most men, my biggest fear was losing my hair. And then it started to happen. My confidence was shot, and I rarely left the studio until I took the leap and called back as rugs and plugs of distinction. After a five minute consult, they gave me the solution. The luscious locks you see today. Get your hair back, get your confidence back, Give backers a call without delay. Welcome back to Lanflan Wanny Castle here for the semi-finals of the Fiscally Responsible Pro League. And gee, what an opening to the day it has been, Matt. Some fantastic action. Um, Netherlands downing China straight into the grand final. Germany getting over the top of Argentina. They've gone home. Germany is staying. And now we get to the men's games. And, of course, we mentioned before, Possums, Blossoms, they're up first. And uh, after...
convincingly topping the table. It's going to be a real tough ask for Spain to get over them. But, you know, it could just happen. Anything can happen in hockey dice. Well, we have seen the Spanish just scoring goals out of nowhere when they look down and out, pulling games from nowhere. And I'm expecting the same from them today. I think they can cause an upset, Matt. Yep, Fred's Reds, five goals last week. Can we see a replication of that? I think they can do it, John. I think uh, it's at this, at this stage of a tournament, anything can happen. And uh, all of the teams, they definitely deserve to be there. And the outbias for today's games are Jane Price from Wales and Nicola Rankin from New Zealand because it's the equally amazing fiscally responsible pro league. Let's get down to the ground, shall we, Matt? It's uh, game number three of the day. And India will be rolling first. Here come the teams. They're uh, making a marching oh. onto the field. Oh. Quite amicable there. Oh, well, you know, very nice bit of display. Bit of razzmatazz, the big show. Here go the boys in blue rolling first. Semi-final one. Here we go. Uh, typical Indian flair there, Matt. Oh, beautiful work through the midfield. Roll back that cross-field ball again. Oh, uh, Three, three goals! It's beautiful stuff. Well, that paid off for them. Absolutely sensational for Spain's India. straight into it, though. No mucking around there. And they've come back with two. We have another five-goal first quarter. The pace here is incredible. Here comes India. Straight back up at it again. Hovering around that centre. Short little roll. Nicely done. Scored again. That's four. They got the one. They'd be happy with that. Four now, goals in the first bring? half. They've matched them so far. And they say, oh, they've shown the dice. Not good look, that, Matt. And it has a well, look for them. Well, it'll look more like two fingers up to the crowd, John. Uh, it was a little bit of that about it, wasn't there? I'm not sure the Spanish are the crowd favourite here. But, look, we've said it before and we'll probably say it again many, many times. Show the dice. You're not going to win, eh? No, that's right, John. Well, I think it goes back to the uh, occupation um, of the People's Republic by the Spanish back in the 1500s. And, you know, those are, are, uh, are wounds that have taken a long time to heal. Well, they appear to because I think the ultras are starting to get a little bit nasty as well. They're, they're kicking up over in the corner there. I think they are sort of... Um, I think the word is terrifying the Spanish players at the moment. Well, right? it seems to be the Spanish players are just playing on the, the opposite side of the field. They won't go anywhere near the stand over there. And quite frankly, who can blame them? Oh, well, I wonder how that will play out in the second half. Let's head down there now to catch all the action. It will be Spain rolling first. Now, let's see. What do they do with their role? Will the ultras affect it? They're playing up the middle Whoa, of the field. They're playing away heavy, from the ultras. Heavy, heavy roll. Oh, no, nothing for not that work. one. It got caught up in the party poppers down there, John. Oh, this game could slip away from Spain right here, Matt. Once again, a flare of the Indians. Just just beautiful wrist work. Oh, wow. they've left the door open, Matt. Surprisingly, Spain, they can get back into it. They can get into the final. A bit more purpose in that roll. Nice twist on oh, it. Oh, it's given them a it's goal. But the, oh. Not enough. Not enough. India, they know that they're going through. to the, There we go. They're loving this. And look, they're right over. They're, yeah, they're, they're not worried about the oh, Ultras. Oh, oh There goes. They're taken out. There goes. Well, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, they One goal. They got a goal. What, what, what's happened to Thump Eyes there? Been... Well, they could get into trouble for that, John. It, obviously, if you accidentally knock over anything around the stadium, it's your job to pick it up, not to pick it up and throw it onto the middle of the field. Um, that's just disgraceful. I'm not sure whether that'll have ramifications, ramifications for later on in the day, Matt, but I get the feeling that um, the umpiring fraternity may have something to say about it later. Well, India are through to that grand final. It'll be interesting to see who is picked to officiate. Of course, we've got a pool of um, probably over 200 umpires here now, John. We do. All enjoying it. Unfortunately, most of them can't get into the ground. They're all sitting in a van outside of the ground watching it on a small screen. That would be the van we used to sit in before we got our lovely purchase position here above the fiscally responsible Pro League president and his bunch of clowns. That's right, John. We are high in the sky. We have got the best seat in the house and we are bringing you all of this fantastic action live from and, the People's Republic. And up next will be the Netherlands versus Germany. This should be a ripping game. Two fierce long-time rivals, Matt. Well, of course, they met in the Euros of the fiscally responsible Pro League final about six months ago. Netherlands got the upper hand then, and uh, there's very, very little between these two teams. I'm expecting Billy Backer's charges to uh, go out early. Germany be fairly defensive. 
but they stick at it, John. And it just shows, you know, the big score last week for them uh, over the Aussies. If you can beat the Aussies away, then you've got a very good chance against any opponent. Well, the umpires for this game, it's uh, going to be a double up from China, believe it or not. It's going to be uh, Hong Wang and Yan Li Wang out there umpiring today. And of course, uh, they're not with their brother, Long Wang, who is normally going to be here. It's great to have the Wangs here, John, and it's great to have the Schlop too. Huh? Had a nice little tasting of the new Schlop Extra in the week. That'll be out in long neck, uh, long neck form pretty soon at your local bottle shop and uh, drive through. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Schlop to your drop, Matt. Let's get down to the field, shall we? The plays just get, get underway. It will be the Netherlands first to uh, roll. Uh, it's Wang with the whistle. Taking a while to get out there. As, uh, th uh, they're waving to the crowd, Matt. They're waving. Party time already here. You know what the, those Europeans are like, John. Oh. They're crazy. What, what's going on here? It's entertainment all over. Quick knuckle, knuckle touch there. Netherlands roll first. Deep in the corner, one goal. A good start to the Netherlands. Very nice. With that. Yeah, Van Ass, very happy with that little tap in. Out of the back of the hand once again from the Germans, and Onto they pick the up a goal. Beautiful Whoa, stuff. Intriguing contest, very centrally defensive, but uh, both teams managed to get one on the board. Handy by Muller there. Oh, that's not often you see that from the, the Netherlands, that sort of action, Matt. Well, it's a, a bit of flow across the field, a high drop. Well, yeah, it was pretty uninspiring stuff. It's so far, this this game... Ha oh, there's a show. There's a show, Matt. I'm, I don't think this is going to end well, well for it, the Germans. it really does. It's dropped in the D. There you go. There you go, John. Zero. And that's, you know, that's what you deserve. We do not want to see the die. We don't, Matt. And uh, it's just layer rising of the highest value of layer rising, isn't it? It's... Uh, not good, don't like it, get rid of it. And I'm quite happy to see teams do it though, Matt, as long as they don't expect to win. That's right, it, it, it's, uh, it's something we see, John. Look, we want to raise the profile of the game, but when people see that on their screens at home, surely they're just going to be turning, switch, uh, l looking for the off button. Just, uh, you know, I just, I'm sorry, I'm a bit upset about it. It's, um, it's, really, it's, it's really not the thing we want to see in our game. Well, can't wait for this second half action to start, Matt. So let's head down there now. It's going to be Germany rolling first to get this second half underway. What are they going to bring? Well, Captain Hanna steps up. Little deep. twist. Yeah. Once again, deep. Deep, but simple. It's a two. Very nicely done. A 3-1 lead. The Dutch have got to be on their metal here. What are they, what are they going to offer us here? Well, they're oh, going to have to find something. Short drop. Well, there you oh, go. Now they are struggling, Matt. This could be the death of Dutch men's hockey. Here's no, the it, Germans. No inspiration from back. Oh, look obviously. at that work. Oh, the top of the day. It's beautiful. It's, it's one goal. That's going to be... Oh, they, the, the Netherlands could force a shootout here, Matt. They oh, could force the shootout. A semi-final shootout. A much Is more energetic coming? throw. Deep I, into the corner. It's two. It's not enough, though. It's not. It's Germ not. Germany, they're going to play off against the Spanish to meet the Indians in the grand final next week. Oh, what a sensational matchup that's going to be. Germany just keep rolling on and on and on and on. Oh, they do, Matt, and I'm really looking forward to the preliminary finals, which will be coming up very soon. It'll be uh, Spain versus Germany in the men's competition, but the first game up after our short break will be in the women's game. It'll be China versus Germany. Germany playing off for a grand final spot in both competitions, Matt. And don't forget, you've got an opportunity just to head to the fridge and pull out a nice long, cold schlop. Yes, when you do, think of us. Slop till you drop. We'll be right back after this message.
and welcome back to the Fiscally Irresponsible Pro League here at Land Flan Wanny Castle. And what a fabulous day it's been, Matt. Uh, the crowd is simply overwhelmed with excitement. You can see them all there just... Uh, absolutely thrilled to be here. I think if you listen closely enough, it, it, I can hear it coming down from the uh, the ultras down there. The, the call of schlop, 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 schlop. Oh, right speak there. of the devils, there they are. <laughs> yep, there's definitely some weapons being uh, bandied about by the uh, the ultras today, Matt. Well, it's disgraceful that security have let them in here. Oh, look, the crowd, there's still a big line up there at the ham and cheese toasty van. Oh, they can't wait to get their, their mouths and their taste buds onto one of those ham and cheese toasties. Uh, of course, we've had to censor the bar area of the goings on there. It's a little bit raucous down there, John. Just on the ham and cheese toasties, I did try a, uh, a blue cheese and pear toasty this week. It was actually very nice. And, and what better place to taste it at the actual farm? Now, they... They ocean harvest the blue cheese here on the island, John. We, you know, we've heard all about the feta bushes. We've heard about the brie trees. But the blue cheese is ocean harvest. It's scraped from the rocks on the south coast of the island, quite near the old medieval fort ruins down there. And of course, they have the, uh, uh, the license, the appellation control for rock fort. And that's actually where it can rock fort, the blue cheese. So it's, um, yeah, it's off the rocks. It's scraped. That's what gives it that beautiful blue colour. Oh, you've, uh, you've had, as a cheese connoisseur that you are, you've had a marvellous time here in the People's Republic. Well, it's just, it's just been wonderful to see some of the, the, the local production and agriculture and all of those primary industries that are so important to a place like this, John. Well, let's get down to the games. We've got two games left today, Matt. The preliminary finals, the right to get to the grand final for the, uh, the women. They'll be taking on the Netherlands. Uh, the men, the winner, will take on... India. Uh, so first up, the ladies preliminary final. It will be China versus Germany. Matt, the umpires for this game are going to be Clive McMurray from the Republic of South Africa. Good to have Clive here with us. And Ray O'Connor from Ireland. So they'll be out there blowing the whistles. Oh, what do you make of this game? It's, it's well, this, it, it can't get any tenser, John, than this moment. These sides are playing for a place in the 2020 fiscally responsible pro league final they're going to take on uh, the netherlands who've been very strong but they are beatable so has anyone's got a chance in this china such a great year to finish so far up the table germany they've left it a little bit late it could go anyway well no one expected china to be in this position to start with did they matt it's been tremendous just to lose last game to be in a preliminary final and i think it's a great uh, example to everybody out there that multi-sport is so important whatever your game they play a lot of mahjong it, the, the skills really do marry up with those that are needed with hockey dice they do matt let's get down to the ground i believe the players are making their way out onto the field i'm really looking forward to this game matt here they go, they're out there. A team greeting, a fairly solid greeting, friendly. There's the whistle, China to roll first. What have they got? It's, is that a show of the dice, Matt, or oh. is that a roll technique? It's the swing boat, I believe, John. The swing boat. Zero. Mm. Didn't swing work boat, for uh, no vote. They've really struggled to score goals in these finals, haven't they, Matt? Germany, simple that time. Little roll over the halfway line. Oh, simple. what a start. What yes, a start, effective. Germany. Emily Wortmann and Kira Horn both on the scoreboard there. Two for Horn. China back out. Roll. Fairly standard. Hey. Roll has worked. Two goals to China. Unbelievable. Go, go. There everybody's the underdog. Here's Germany. Can they... Oh, oh well, that's bad news. from the Germans. Well done to Zimmerman there, alongside uh, Captain Jana Muller-Wieland. Well, it's obvious that China is the crowd's favourite here today, Matt. Uh, they're cheering them on. They, they certainly, you know, use that um, in the first half to good effect, but not good enough because the Germans are totally dominant. They are indeed. A lot of soft power ha happened here on the island over the past few years, John. Like you say, the Chinese are very much firm favourites with the crowd. Why wouldn't you be when it's half of your GDP comes out of China? That's right, Matt. Uh, I'm not sure that they can haul it back from here. Three goal lead to Germany. They're going to have to tighten up at the back, China, if they've got any chance. Well, it'll be disappointing after such a great year, like you've said so many times. A real surprise package here in the fight, fiscally responsible Pro League. Um, 
Let's get back to the second half action, shall we? It'll be Germany to toss off. Two quarters to go. Here we go. What have the Germans got? Can they extend their advantage? Oh, oh what play! All too easy. Pauline Heights. Well, she came up with the beans and a hat trick. Oh, trying to move on quickly. They're, oh, wait a sec. I think we have a no throw. Yes, it's a no throw, Matt. Definitely a no I throw. I can't say. Was it just on the angle? Yeah, the yeah, tip of the 13 sided there. die. There are some uh, modifications that will be need to make to this stadium. Trying to bring it up rock. to standard. Oh, dear. Well, they were unsettled with that, John. I don't think that's they were scoring it. any more than that, but that's it all over. Germany Jim. can take a holiday They'll here. Pop, they'll what probably they score another three. They go close to it, Matt. What's up on the board? It's, it's a one. A one. Yeah, well, China, I mean, they would have come into this last quarter knowing that there's not much to play for, but they'll give it a ping anyway. And in the end, not enough. That is major disappointment for Chinese ho ice hockey fans. But the Germans, you can't take it away from them. Well, that's just incredible from the Germans to come from the position they came late in the season. They made their way up into that final four, uh, and they've done the double. They've done the double today. They've beaten the... Um, the Who did they beat, John? They, uh, they, they beat the Argentinians. Argentinians. That's, That's right. A, yeah. And now they've beaten the Chinese. They're getting their way right back up to the top table of fiscally responsible pro league hockey dice. They are. But for China, what can you see ahead for them? Um, fog, mist, all sorts of um, nefarious weather schemes happening. A dragon. Uh, yet a drag definitely a dragon and maybe a rat or a rabbit okay well it's time now to get on to our last game for the for today it is the men's preliminary final it will be spain versus germany uh, i think everybody was a bit concerned about germany they weren't sure whether they would uh, the short space time frame of the tournament would suit them but um look they've they've used it as a real opportunity to bond together in a quick amount of time and really force themselves on this competition. Casey's boys have done very well, very much led from the back by Captain Martin Harner throughout this competition. He's been a real rock for them. They're going to be a tough side to break down here. I fancy them, John, for a place in this final against India next week. Well, the umpires today will be Philip Schellens uh, from the Netherlands and Wendy Stewart. From Canada, good luck to those umpires today. They're going to need it because this is going to be a tough game. Let's cross down to the sideline, Matt. Now, team's just about to make their way out. There's the umpire hurrying them up. Oh, it's a little bit of trepidation there from the... Oh, What's oh going on here? It's oh, they're taunting them, Matt. It's a red rag to the ball, John. It is. It's a taunt from the Germans. Will that fire up the Spanish? Or will it just confuse them like it does a bull? Here comes the first top toss from Spain. A nicely timed oh, toss. Beautiful flare. A lovely flare move with the hands. Uh, it didn't work for them, though, unfortunately, Matt. Germany staunch straight out. Bang, bang, around the back. What have they got? This time they do play forward, Matt. And well, they've scored a goal. See what happens when you play the die forward. Simple and effective. Get the basics right, John, and you will score goals in this game. Cheeky from the Spanish. They drop it on the German flag. And it, it works for them. Allegro very nicely done there. Germany. Straight away. No. Oh, oh. Well, they're not messing around here they're today. They, they are here for hockey dice business and the business only, John. Well, the, the pace of the game that they took into the last part of that quarter, Matt, was incredible. They were just on fire, the Germans. And they're, they're going to make, they continue that. It's going to be very difficult for the Spanish to make any inroads. Yeah, well, great to see Jonas Gamal and Paul Philippe Kaufman on the board there in that second quarter. They take us into the second half in the lead. They're going to be a very, very good chance to make it through, I think, John. Well, let's get to that second half. And uh, I wonder if there'll be any taunting here with rags. Matt? Who's up first? It's Germany to roll. They've just come out. Oh, a the stop lovely start. little flip over. They took the time. They've rolled it up to the 25. They've got nothing for it. They've opened the door for the Spanish. What can Fred's Reds do here? Oh, there comes the roll. They've taken up the pace as well, and they've scored, Matt. Well, they've certainly ensured this game is going all the way to the fourth quarter. What a pace it's been played at. Here comes Germany already. There's the roll. Well, a slow roll. It's one goal. They've left the door open from slow Spain. Slow and methodical four Here goals. They Spain, two or three required. They're fairly confident. Another it's into one. the corner. Is, they, is that a three, John? Is it a three on that? It's a no roll, oh, man. Oh, no my. roll. Controversy. Well, we'll have to get the ruling from the... Uh, there's the umpire. Edge up. Edge up. That's, right. uh, that's okay. the ruling. 
So Spain will have to roll again. Not as much confidence in that roll, oh, but it is to the goal. Did you see the curl? It's got to be three. It's, it's one. one. Oh, it's not, not enough, enough for the Spanish. They have gone down four goals to three. They're going home. Germany, they're going all the way to the final next week. Oh, fantastic game from Germany. They put the pressure on early and just kept scoring goals to maintain that pressure. Spain couldn't catch up. Well, Germany, the, the, you know, they, they got into the competition slowly. Like I'd said before, um, you know, last week's game, when they showed that class over Australia to make it through into the final four, well, they've been unstoppable today. Just sensational results against the Dutch and now also against the Spanish. Oh, uh, I hear that roar. Oh, the players are out there. The, the crowd is cheering. It's just amazing scenes here at the Fiscally Responsible Pro League. And look, we're, we're going to be back very shortly. We're going to take a very quick break. And we're going to join you with all of the post-match news and a look at ahead towards next week's grand finals. Can't wait to do it. Good day. I'm Matt Allen. You may know me from Hockey Podcast, Push Past Pundits, and The Reverse Stick, the global hockey podcast. Like most men, my biggest fear was losing my hair. And then it started to happen. My confidence was shot and I rarely left the studio until I took the leap and called backers rugs and plugs of distinction. After a five minute consult, they gave me the solution. The luscious locks you see today. Get your hair back, get your confidence back, give backers a call without delay. And it's great to be back here at Land Flan Wanny Castle after such a tremendous day of hockey. Matt Allen joins me. I'm John Lee. And I'll tell you what, excitement plus today, wasn't it, Matt? Indeed it was. And I can't wait to hear the lowdown on the reverse stick, the global hockey podcast, a little later on this evening. Um, it's just been sensational. Everything we'd expect out of a semi-final series, the biggest, the best tossers in hockey dice across the globe. We get to do it all again next week, John. Oh, we do, Matt. Uh, it should be fascinating. Uh, two more games to go in what has been an outstanding season of fiscally responsible pro league hockey dice. Who would have thought it, John? Oh. Who, who, who would have thought it? Who would have seen the Belgians and the Australians in the men's competition? Absolutely nowhere. Belgium losing their world title. And uh, it's going to be India or Germany that are going to take it off from this year. Well, let's have a look at those results from today, Matt. Uh, first up for the women... The um, first up for the women, what have we got there? I can't see my graphic at the moment. It's uh, China versus the Netherlands was the first semi-final. Netherlands winning that one two goals to four. Valiant from China, but they just couldn't contain the powerhouse that the Netherlands are. Uh, Argentina versus Germany, the second of the two semi-finals, and it was Germany turning it on. 9-5, the Argentina... Got plenty of power up front, but Germany just steamrolled them in that game. Well, they did it again in the local derby there, John, and uh, we didn't really see that coming, but th they deserve their spot in the final as much as anybody else. They do, and they des earned that spot after defeating China in the preliminary final. Nine goals to three. 18 goals in two games. Are they on fire or what? One game too far for the Chinese, unfortunately. We've mentioned before, we haven't seen much of them over the past two weeks. They didn't play last week. Maybe if they'd have got that game in between, they might have been a bit stronger coming into this week's games. They weren't, unfortunately. They'll, they'll go home happy enough. Let's have a look at the men's competition now. And we kicked off with Spain and India in the first semi final. And India booked their place in the grand final with a very tenacious 5 3 victory over the Spanish. In the second semi final, it was the Netherlands going down to Germany. Four goals to three, a tight, tense, at times rather boring encounter. Yep, and, and then Germany went and did it again. Another 4 3 victory. Spain. Got to feel unlucky. Scored six goals on finals day and they're not playing in a grand final. Yeah, very disappointing from them. But hats off to Germany. They came through the draw the hard way and uh, they've got to the grand final. So good luck to them. In fact, we should have a look at those grand finals in, in just a second because they, they promised to be absolutely outstanding games of hockey. First up for the, for the women and I have got that graphic here. It'll be the Netherlands and Germany. Neighbours, 
doing battle. A repeat of the European final from last year, John. It's going to be sensational to see, of course, Germany. 4-3 winners in that game. Let's see how this one plays out. The Netherlands, they got back to their class form this week. Um, I think we actually managed to catch up with Ava de Herder once she, uh, you know, they'd, they'd found out that they were going through to the grand final. So lovely for Ava to have a chat with us and um, uh, speak to our, um, our guys down on the ground there. We invite all all over the world so if you play in china or argentina or america i know dutchies live everywhere so please be there all in orange we will recognize you and thank you so much for your support and uh, come and keep coming to watch the hockey dice and see you in the final that's right wherever you are in the world you should get your eyes on it particularly if you're a dutchie john get your eyes on the final next week you'll catch it on facebook live here on the reverse stick feed on the push pass pundits feed and on the hockey live feed don't forget hashtag frpl hashtag Live stream hockey. And, of course, the other grand final going on next week will be the men's grand final, a game that will have a lot of interest in a lot of parts of the world. It will be India in their first final since who knows when. It's been a long time. Perennial not getting to the final finalists taking on Germany. Well, some may be cynical out there, John, and say that this competition is fixed just to get India to the final and get more eyes on the screen of this broadcast. Well, it's just not true, John. It's not true, Matt. We tried our best to make sure that India didn't get to the final, but it's a strength of the integrity of the financially, fiscally financially responsible pro league that they did get through. Well, it's, John, some of the finance men, the, the, the men in the, the, the big pink hats here on the island, you know, they had a little bit to say, say about it. But look, there is absolutely no money coming to this competition from India, although the next next year's competition is being held in Odisha. Well, it's, it's funny what you can get out of a gentleman with a big red nose and giant shoes, Matt. Um, <laughs> we've, we've had some fascinating insights into the way that dice hockey is run across the globe, haven't we? Well, we have, and, and it's great, though, that we've got all of the administration team here. They'll be staying all week down at the luxury resort, um, all paid for, by the way, by the uh, a certain gentleman with two hats down there. Ah, oh, yes. Well, he's he's done well to keep this this league alive, hasn't he? Well, he certainly has kept it. And when there's been no other hockey happening anywhere in the world, you can guarantee the past six weeks you've had the fiscally responsible pro league live and um, integrity intact. Well, yeah, you know, we've had a few bumps along the way, John. A few umpiring decisions perhaps haven't gone the way the coaches would have liked. A lot of talk with the technical officials. Well, that check didn't cash from the Pan Am um, Dice Hockey Association. Well, you know, that's one of the problems that we do have, and it can affect results sometimes. It can indeed. Uh, now, there is one more duty we have before we finish our broadcast today, Matt, and um, it's going to be a tough one for you today because neither Kieran Govers or Olivia Merry was playing, so or, who or, is... Or Blake Govers. Or Blake either. <laughs> Who is your Govers goal of the day? The Govers Rifles goal of the day, John, Ooh. goes to number seven in that uh, final game for Germany. It's Christopher Ruhr. Well done to Christopher. Um, look, if, if anybody's going to get a goal of the day, apart from a Gover, it would have to be um, Christopher. Yep, lover boys done it again. Absolutely sensational stuff from him. Tough day for them today, and we can hear his thoughts on, on how that day's gone, particularly for him, but also for the German side. Well, Matt, that just about um, wraps up our coverage here of the fiscally responsible Pro League. Don't you want to hear from Christopher? Oh, shall we? Okay. Uh, I yes, he, we I shall think, I think he's down. I think he's down there pit side right. Yep, we, he, yep they're Is good to there? go. They're ready to go. Okay, let's cross to Christopher. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's been a very big day. Uh, some tough, tough games to play. Uh, but I'm very, very happy we are making it through to final and uh, we, we hope to put on a good show uh, for all the, all the hockey fans that, that are out there. Urgh. Oh, look, that's a wonderful head of hair too, Matt. Lovely. Perhaps uh, he could have a chat with backers, I just, th just like I have, John. Well, you could do with a headband, though. Uh, apparently, uh, according to Matthew Swan from the Kookaburras, headbands are for kids. Are they? Yeah, and people with hair. Oh, people with hair, of course. Um, we've had the Governor's Goal of the Day. We've got through all our, our interviews. We've got through some fantastic dice hockey. Uh, how do you think we can top it, Matt? Um, I don't think we can, John. I think we just say goodbye to the people out there. Don't forget to check out the Reverse Stick, the Global Hockey Podcast. We'd love to have you tune in, like, subscribe, and do all of that sort of stuff. And, of course, if you're going down the shops, 
buy a flight from Creed overhead, get a gun from Gover's Rifles, and, um, of course, buy a lovely bunch of Lalit flowers. Well, that's about it from us here at Land Flanwany Castle in the People's Republic. Thanks to uh, all of our sponsors. Thanks to all of our supporters. Thanks to the government of the People's Republic for providing such an outstanding, as I said, such an outstanding um, facility here at Land Flanwany Castle. Um, We'll leave you with scenes of the crowd. They're still going off. You can see the lights are on. The party's just about to start. The players will be making their way out very shortly to join them. And it should be a big night here in the People's Republic. From me, John Lee, and from my co-host, Matt Allen, it's goodbye. The schlops are on me!